Good day, my name is Ray Orakajan. Let me start off with a prayer. O oh God, bless your people on this earth as they struggle day by day. Draw them closer to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to give a reflection on the pandemic and it is titled The Goodness of People. The pandemic has provided an opportunity to awaken. Yes, there is panic buying, there is sickness, and there is even death. However, I read that in China, after so many years of noise, people can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but is blue and gray and clear. In the United States, carbon dioxide emissions have dropped 17 percent. I read that in the streets of Assisi in Italy, people are singing to each other across the empty squires, keeping the windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. They say that a hotel in the west of Ireland is offering free meals and delivery to the housebound. In New York and other places, People are delivering food to frontline workers. I read that a woman is busy spreading flyers with a number through a neighborhood so that elders may have someone to call on. Today some churches, synagogues, mosques and temples are preparing to welcome and shelter the homeless, the sick, the weary. This is something they were not doing when things were normal. Food stores in Belfast, Ireland have decided to keep their stores open from 8 to 9 a.m. only for the elderly to shop, asking other customers to shop after the set hours. A couple who owns a small shop in Scotland tried to help seniors in their neighborhood by buying them $2,500 worth of masks and sanitizers. A 15-year-old girl called Shaira decided to make a change and created 250 sanitation kits to share with a vast range of homeless people in California. Each one of these kits includes things like handmade reusable face masks, antibacterial soap, lotion, and hand sanitizer. I also read that the landlord in Maine decided to not collect rent for the month of April. He has a sister who was affected as well, so he understands how a lot of people are feeling at this time. That's why he, he decided to just keep the rent collection for April. He said he might con consider doing this as long as the pandemic continues. It is a kind gesture, and he really wants to help his tenants during very harsh times. Although churches and other temples are closed for worship, their members are still sending in their tithes to keep their congregations afloat. And they are also using social media and other technology to worship together. Then there is the story of a farmer in Kansas. His name is Dennis Runke. He and his wife Sharon, both in their 70s, had five masks on their farm. But they figured they would send the one they weren't using to New York, which at the time was facing a shortage of personal protective equipment as the nation's epicenter for the coronavirus. Sharon has one lung, among other health problems. Dennis wrote to the governor of New York, quote, Enclosed, please find a solitary N95 mask left over from my farming days. It has never been used. If you could, would you please give this mask to a nurse or doctor in your state. The governor praised the selflessness during his daily uh, COVID-19 briefings and he said, Coach, you want to talk about the snapshot of humanity? You have five masks. What do you do? Do you keep all five? Do you hide the five masks? Do you keep them for yourselves or others? No. You send one mask to New York to help a nurse or a doctor. All over the world, people are showing, slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbors in a new way. 
all over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to, to how big we really are and how little control we really have. Paying attention to what really matters, to love each other. So my prayer today is that we remember, yes, that there is fear, but there does not have to be hate. There is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. There is panic buying, but there does not have to be meanness. There is sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. There is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Amen.